I want to make a very important announcement tonight. A very, very important announcement. And everyone must pay attention. The IPOB USA um, treasurer in the person of Mrs. Rita Eze Ise. Some people call her Madame Moivo as well. I don't know if she's, um, she has, um, but that's by the way. Um, Mrs. Rita Eze, um, the IPOB USA treasurer from tonight has been relieved of her position as IPOB USA treasurer. The account that this lady is managing for IPOB, which is the Umweri Arodi Areli account in USA, is hereby shot down. This account cannot be used anymore for any ESN fundraising. Do not put your money as if you're an IPOB family member or you're a sympathizer of IPOB, you are Biafra, you want to support what the IPOB is doing to liberate our land. You should not put your hard-earned funds into Umu Eri Arodi Areli account in USA. This account that is managed or that from tonight, of course, um, it, it, it is managed by Mrs. Rita Eze. Mrs. Rita Eze herself has been relieved of her position as IPOB treasurer. Anyone dealing with her is dealing is dealing on her own, on his own. You are not dealing with IPOB anymore. And in addition to Mrs. Rita Eze, these individuals are hereby expelled from IPOB family. Number one, Mazi Ndubisi Ejiasi, formerly a rep, a, uh, a zonal and a regional rep in the USA, is hereby expelled. Mazi Olive will be also formerly a representative that is a regional rep is hereby tonight expelled from IPOB. Mazi Onyeka, formerly of Ontario, um, um, a regional rep of Ontario is as well hereby expelled from IPOB. I am giving a warning to these two women, Mrs. Rosemary William and Mrs. Azoka Charles Wanko. It could be that your that your name is being used without your permission, but I want to give you the benefit of that. From tonight, if your name continues to be used by these evil people in our midst, those who are doing the work of their master, if you allow them, your name to continue to be to be used by them, then it means that you are accused. It means that you knowingly and deliberately is in consent with their evil plan, which is to destabilize this great movement. And then uh, from that moment will the leadership do the appropriate thing. But for now, these two women turn a good leaf because we allow people to change from their mistakes. I have something to tell those who are moving around mountain and parroting the, 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 what do they call it? Uh, IPOB 
Uh, not the American them as in American. What nonsense. Listen, when this issue started, when this problem it started to 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 um you know grow a little bit. I remember I told Mrs. Mrs. Um, Rita Eze Onyise, or Rita Eze Ise, or what, I, I, I hope I get it properly, but Rita Eze Ise, I think that's, that's her name. I told her that her POV is beyond being uh, hijacked by anybody. It cannot happen. We will allow you to come out openly. We will allow you to show your intentions, to show your motive, and then we'll cut off your head. Because this movement cannot be hijacked. Those who gave you the, um, um, the, the, the work, those who gave you the assignment to go and destabilize IPOB, while they are killing our people in our land and you are trying to, um, you know, uh, distract us with the, with the, with the cooked up, um, you know, uh, um, distractions. I guess because some of these things that, that we see on, 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 on being, being distributed, they actually do not make one iota of sentence. Now, those of you, I told them, I told her, her and two other women, I told them that this movement cannot, if you think this movement can be, you cannot do that. It's not possible. Not that you cannot, but you are not, you, you, Amubonya, that person has not been born. And it has not been, it does not exist. The person who will hijack this very movement. They thought it was a joke. And they continued in their way. They continued in their evil machination. They continued to, to cause mayhem and confusion in this family. And uh, until we clearly understood where they were coming and where they are going. And we are cutting it off. IPOB is one one central command, one central command, and that central command is Onyendu Mazin Nam the Kano. There is no IPOB uh, Europe under Mazin Nam the Kano. Nonsense. There is no IPOB Asia uh, under Mazin Nam the Kano or IPOB South America under Mazin Nam. See, so you people must understand. When I was saying the last time that they tried the three pod, they tried the whatever pod the, 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 the DSS tried during the first time our leader had issues, they knew that there is no way that they will set up another freedom fighting outfit to rival this great movement. So what they went back to the drawing board and they said, let us try to take it from within. And that is why you're seeing these, these daughters of, 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 uh, of perdition. That is why you see some of these men who did not fully drink from their mother's breast. That they have agreed to be the hand by which the enemy will attempt to destroy this movement. And all the efforts that they have made, and when I was always saying, when, when you hear, when you, when disciples write something, read between the lines because they, call, they are confessing. The spirit of Biafra will make them to confess. Read deep and think very thoroughly. They are telling, they are they are saying that um, um, they wanted the, the DOS after five days of our leader not being available. They already said, they already saw their vision that the, 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 the Biafra people would reject the DOS. The plan was to do what? To turn the leadership upside down and to create 
something parallel to that and take it from within. So, but they did not. They did not um, count on the hardcore, uh, hardcore members of this very leadership that Onyindu has put in place. And their time has come, and their time is now. We will begin to weed many of them out very gradually and very sustained in a, in a very sustained manner. If you are an IPO principal servant, I repeat this again, and you are found dealing with any of these people that has been expelled and removed from this family, it means that you have taken a deliberate step and a conscious action, and you will be held responsible for that deliberate act and that very conscious action that they have taken. Because knowing that all that actions and step that they are in complete disagreement and in complete conflict with the agenda of this great movement, with the objective of this very great movement, of course, with the fundamental, fundamental um, goal or aim of this very moment. You are therefore, you are warned. On Sunday, I will be having a meeting, a meeting with the four regional reps in the United States, the mountain region, the central, the eastern zone, uh, eastern region, and um, uh, mountain, eastern, central, and which one am I missing? I think there are four of them too. But, but uh, the point is that I'm going to have a meeting on Sunday with the four regional reps on um, four regional reps of IPOB in in the United States um, on Sunday. In that meeting, the IPOB USA Financial Secretary will be there, and of course, IPOB um, Head of Finance will also be. In that meeting, and maybe one or two more um, members of the US. And the reason is that we are going to, um, by next week, or before this, yes, by next week, let's, let's put it better. By next week, our people will be properly directed on where they must um, begin to um, put in their contributions for the Eastern Secret Network. We must continue on our fundraising, and I understand that the Liars and team are preparing uh, for a fundraising on the sixth, on the sixth of November. The Liars and team are preparing. Uh, they have scheduled, I believe, they have scheduled a fundraising for the sixth of November, and I encourage every Biafran, wherever you may be. I do encourage all of you to be part of that fundraising because that fundraising will be will be to ensure that our ESN is not lacking what they need to continue in their functions and carrying out their responsibilities. Biafra for us is not just a name. Biafra is our identity. Biafra is our heritage. And Biafra is all that we have, have that all that we have for us, for our children, and for generations yet unborn. Biafra is all that we have, and every hand must be on deck to ensure that Biafra comes. We cannot begin to imagine Biafra, any life without Biafra, because it will be a life of servitude. It will be a life of sorrow and misery, and Chukabema for baby. We are the children of Chukwu Kike and him alone, the creator of heaven and earth, Chukwabiyama, 
Purim yani ne? Him alone is him whom we worship and him alone is whom we bow down to and not to man and not to anything that is made by man. Sir. Therefore, great dear friends, you must not fail to be your brother's keeper. As we enter the lockdown on the 5th of November, you, those of you who are, whose hands are well off, you must look around and of course support your brother or your sister who may not be as buoyant as you are. And Chukwokike shall keep all of you. Chukwokike shall keep all of us. And Chukwa Biyama shall bless the indigenous people of Biafra. And continue to put our leader in prayer. Yes, we have come to the end of the Psalms, but our prayer continues day and night on his behalf and on behalf of all Biafrans in Biafra land who are in a war front. We must continue to put them in prayer and we must continue unceasingly to call down the spirits that own our land to fight this battle for us. Thank you so much for listening. And from me, from here, I want to say to you, may Chukabema bless and be with all of you. And good evening from here. Thank you so much.